Crave is a company with enormous engineering expertise. Actually, it's the company of a very sophisticated engineering culture. And the products which we have created so far are somehow drone related. So for the moment, we provide the drone in the box solution, the multi-rotor robotic platforms for versatile use cases, plus the show drones, which are the smallest drones we have in our portfolio. Industry-wise, we focus on the industries where the application of drones and robotic technology could really change the way the people do things, deliver results, and basically it's very much about keeping the people safe, keeping the people out of dangerous areas, and doing some routine stuff faster, better, cheaper, and safer. Among those industries, we focus on oil and gas, we focus on construction, we focus on environmental monitoring, we focus on such industries as law enforcement and defense, where the versatile platform could be really used in so many ways. And of course, um, the surveillance of any sort is something the drone is enormously useful for. Crave is unique in a way that whatever we have as a part of our product, both hardware and software, is designed, produced, uh, tested, and serviced by Microvia. So for the moment, we say that our areas of expertise mostly include such things as robotics, electronics, in-flight software, and aerial industrial engineering. But um, there are two pillars where we currently focus on, one of them being AI and machine learning, because we really want the drone to be surrounding aware and uh, being able to react to something which is happening around. And on the other hand, we are putting even more effort in developing the uh, robotics so that the drone platforms could be integrated into the workflows within different industries. We are enormously excited by the partnership we have uh, with the private office and we really expect that the soaring demand which we currently see coming from across the region, not just Dubai, but also Abu Dhabi and other Emirates uh, coming from Saudi Arabia, coming from the other GCC countries. Uh, we really hope that we'll be in a position to serve those customers, develop some specific tailored bespoke solutions for their specific use cases, and also um, be in position to provide the partners like develop the partner ecosystem and provide the partners with the ability not just to sell and co-develop with us, but also provides, provide enormous high caliber service to their customers so that the, uh, the ecosystem could grow. For the moment, drone industry is enormously regulated. The, the United Arab Emirates being not an exception, there's a number of very strict rules and guidelines one has to follow to be in position to fly an autonomous, specifically in, to fly an autonomous uh, vehicle. So what we have developed so far is a number of fail-safe mechanisms which are implemented and embedded in both the software and the, the hardware we manufacture. But also we're working increasingly with the regulators across the globe, not just in the GCC region, but also in uh, Europe and Southeast Asia to be able to address the needs of those regions as well and to be able to be compliant and stick to the regulations which are put forward by the agencies worldwide so that the customers could really use the equipment and the, the solutions elsewhere. We 
humbled and enormously excited by the fact that we have this enormous opportunity, once in a lifetime opportunity actually, of uh, developing the market and going to market together with the private office and the state group. Our expectations mostly are where we expect the, the private office and Micravia to develop some uh, joint solutions which could be a great fit for the industries, which would serve the customers, which would allow the um, agencies and organizations in the UE and behind to solve their very specific needs to serve and attend to their very specific use cases and to be able to provide some um, technology to actually tackle the, the issues they currently have. And basically this is about, again, this is about keeping the people safe, keeping the people out of dangerous areas, taking over the routine from humans. So this is what we need the robotics for. Whatever you think of, Dubai is a great place. Dubai is a great place to develop things. Dubai is an enormous place to have the engineering minds because you can actually enjoy the diversity and the ability to work with the people from different backgrounds, different cultures, to actually work with the customers coming from all around the world. And we greatly enjoy the support we're given by Dubai, by the Dubai agencies, by the government, by the location even where we have our uh, office and manufacturing sites. So there are so many things which make the work simpler and really straightforward so we can really focus on the things we do best on our core areas of expertise which is manufacturing some better, better robotics for, for the mankind. Alongside many other technologies which have emerged quite recently, drones and aerial systems right now is probably on the very top of that wave. But uh, we think that there's way more to that technology than what we as users, as customers, use so far. We really think that the future is in the integration of uh, the engineering backend and the uh, artificial intelligence, the things which could really change the way the customers experience their equipment and actually use it. Uh, we expect that we would be able to integrate more of those scenarios into the daily workflow of our customers. We really hope that there are some things which could be done better, safer, and faster than now. Uh, we are also looking at the ways uh, to make sure that the equipment reacts to what is happening around those scenario-based flights where a copter could react to a human uh, or an animal or a vehicle and choose this or that scenario regarding what is happening uh, underneath. Um, there's also another part which we think is safety and security. So we really think that the drone technologies could be really safer and we're having a big time right now developing different fail-safe mechanisms and integrations to make sure that the flights are not just common. And actually, I think this is one of the best ways to make the flights more common is to make them safer. Um, so those two areas probably, as we see that, um, will, be, will be triggering the growing number of use cases in different industries. Thank you.